The war in Ukraine would have ended in April this year as Russia and Ukraine agreed to a tentative peace plan. Then British Prime Minister Boris Johnson happened. Boris Johnson landed in Ukraine unannounced, catching even the Ukrainian regime by surprise. Startling details of the intent of Boris Johnson's sudden visit to Ukraine are now beginning to come out. It turns out the then British Prime Minister, at the behest of the West, scuttled any chances of Ukraine and Russia settling for peace. A foreign affairs analysis by Fiona Hill and Angela Stent has given rise to quite a scandal in the world of geopolitics. Titled The World Putin Wants, the foreign affairs article dropped a bombshell as it said this, and I quote, According to multiple former senior US officials we spoke with, in April 2022, Russian and Ukrainian negotiators appeared to have tentatively agreed on the outlines of a negotiated interim settlement. According to the tentative peace plan, Russia would withdraw to its position on February 23rd when it controlled part of the Donbas region and all of Crimea, and in exchange, Ukraine would promise not to seek NATO membership and instead receive security guarantees from a number of countries. Now, why did this plan turn dead on arrival? According to Ukrainian publication Ukrainska Pravda, following the arrival of British Prime Minister Boris Johnson in Kyiv in April, a possible meeting between Ukrainian President Volodymyr Zelensky and Russian President Vladimir Putin was put off. According to the publication, which has sources close to Zelensky, Boris Johnson carried to Ukraine two messages from the West. First, Putin is a war criminal and he should be pressured, not negotiated with. Second, and most importantly, even if Ukraine is ready to sign some agreements on guarantees with Putin, they, as in the West, are not. So, why does the West not want peace in Ukraine? Boris Johnson was definitely not acting out of his own accord. In successfully scuttling any scope of peace between Russia and Ukraine, Boris Johnson ended up serving the collective interests of the West. The West, for some strange reason, does not want the fighting in Ukraine to end anytime soon. Boris Johnson is believed to have told Zelensky and his government in Ukraine that the West believes Putin was not really as powerful as they had previously imagined and that there was a chance to quote-unquote press him. Countries in the West, like the United States, United Kingdom, Germany, and basically all of NATO have been helping Ukraine with weapons worth billions of dollars. The conflict in Ukraine coming to an end would mean Western defense manufacturers would not be able to mint the kind of money they are currently making. Furthermore, peace between Russia and Ukraine would severely unsettle the West's campaign of isolationism against Moscow and Vladimir Putin. Eventually, the world's trade with Russia would return to normal and Moscow would demand for sanctions to be lifted if Ukraine's security is to be guaranteed. Do you think there is something even more ulterior at play here? Do let us know in the comments.